Welcome back. As always, we enjoy having Wanda Massengill here. She's the representative of the Ozark Humane Society. And who did you bring with you today? I brought Nix, N-I-X. Hi, Nix. Right. And he's two years old, a little over two years old, and he is a So he's full grown. Right. He's got a little terrier in him, Yes. Huh? He and is adorable. I know he is. And they think he's got a little dash hound in him. That's why he's so long. And he's really good with kids, and, and they think cats, and he's just a sweet little dog. Is he hyper at all, or is no. he even like Doesn't a seem to be. Thing? No, he's he seems not. seems pretty docile. He is, and he went to the bathroom on the leash, which is really important. You know, if someone yeah. That means he's trailing. comfortable. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Because some will go out and go, but they won't uh, do it whether you got him on a leash. No, no. And he's just, he's been playing with the kids that's been here and the adults. And Good. Good deal, Nick. He's, he's, he's uh, putting on his best... Put forward. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put forward. Um, the number of pets adopted in May were 43 Good. and two reclaims. And what reclaims is, is if the city takes a pet that they picked up, you know, to the shelter and then that, the owner comes and gets it. Oh, okay. okay. And then June so far, there have been 15 that's been adopted and five dogs have been reclaimed that's been put back in their homes. Well, mm. thank goodness mm. for that. that I they're know. They're able to go back to their home. I know. I mean, you know, if my dog gets out, I'm worried sick. Yeah. You know, I just, yeah. Yeah. And the adoption fee for this little fella is $45, but usually for dogs it's 75 and cats it's 35 But for him it's just 45 45 And whoever adopts him needs to ask about getting uh, the free microchip. Okay. Yeah, because they'll do that there. And, then, and the microchip doesn't, all it, it doesn't locate. It just. What does it do? It well, just has information about the animal. Right. right? It, it, it goes. Someone goes online. I don't know if the Humane Society does or the pet owner, or even maybe you know the vet clinic does if it's done there. But it's just a needle that goes under the skin with a little chip, and it registers the dog. Like if the dog is lost and he's taken to the, a shelter or even a vet, they can scan the place on the body and then find out who the dog belongs Who's the owner to. It's like having, owner a, I guess, a tag on your dog, only it's permanent. Yeah. Right, can't it's lose under it. the skin. I really have said before that I, I really wish that a little GPS chip was for yeah, the And pet. I'm sure yeah. that's next. I'm sure I it is. I hope, because, you know. I need one of those so people can find me. <laughs> Do you get lost? By the hour. I want to be lost and people want to find me. <laughs> And the next spay and neuter clinic is July 26th, 27th, and 28th, the week before at the uh, Coster Paws Thrift Shop. The, uh, Are you having trouble, Wanda? <laughs> might be. <laughs> you There's a table up. set up for people to go <laughs> fill out applications and do the $20 non-refundable. But okay. this year so far at the spay and neuter clinic, they fixed 211. Awesome. And there's a lot of time, a lot of hours to plan it. Sure. You know, around 200, I think, to plan it, to schedule appointments, and, yeah. and then do the surgeries. One of these days, I'm going to go tour that, and mm -hmm. I can tell more. It's an yeah, RV. Yeah, 200, 200, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. And I don't even know how long it takes to do one or two, but I'm sure it you know, 30 they, minutes or for, more. To, right. I don't know. And then the volunteers, so you know. Uh, it's, um, it's a vet that travels around the state, mm -hmm. in a, oh. you know, in a truck in a fifth wheel, and the fifth wheel is the surgery clinic. Yeah. So and their needs right now, they said they kind of need a 110 air conditioner and cleaning supplies, okay. Pyrex, paper towels, newspapers, just anything. Okay. So. And is hay and bedding still a... I'm sure I that think. they'll take that any time, yeah. even though it's definitely hot weather out there. And you got an account. Volunteers, they always need volunteers. Volunteers, they sure do. And there's an, you got an account where? At, at Pal, Pal Feed for Feed and uh, Harrison Animal Clinic for Vet Care. I, I believe the veterinary that was on earlier said that only a vet can do the rabies shot, right. which is mm -hmm. true. That's what she said, yeah. But, we, you know, my dog, if he hiccups, I'm right out there. But a lot of the animals that are in, that are at the Humane Society have not had loving homes and, and a good background, and so mm -hmm. they need medical care mm -hmm. to get on to get healthy. Yeah, people again. forget that they think, well, I'm just going to get a dog, right? There's, and that's the end of any everything, no. yeah. right? And there's a lot of medical care that's gone into yeah. getting the dog healthy, yeah. and that's where you the want personal animal. attention to, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the cutest little face? It he is seems cute. pretty he's he's pretty acclimated to his surroundings. He he's is. okay. He's really cute. Anything else, Wanda? 
Uh, if anyone has anything to uh, donate, the cost or pause thrift shop on Crandall would be great. Okay. And if any service person, electrician, plumber, tree trimmer, whatever, would like to call out there and say, you know, if you need something, if I can. I'm available. Yeah, leaves a mm -hmm. number, mm -hmm. and that's tax, tax deductible as long, you know, as well as the vet and the fee mm -hmm. yeah. care. So. You know, and I just want to thank all of our viewers for, for tuning into this show and watching these segments and and uh, responding to some of the needs that you have right. and the, adoptions. The last pet, Dalton, was mm -hmm. adopted, and Freedom, of course, before that was Good. adopted. Good so deal. That always makes our hearts happy. It does. I'm just always thrilled. I'll send Dan a <laughs> message saying the pet's been adopted. You That's know. good. So, well, so you thank got your you. chance to get Nick's There right you here. go. He's yeah. right there. He's, oh, he's, he's kind of like that Benji dog. He just kind of, oh, you can is. see some intelligence Benji. going on in, in there. And he's ready to he's not done. solve Look the next he's crime. He's like, I got, I got a maid. <laughs> yeah. Well, Wanda, thanks so much Thank for coming, you. and we'll have you again in a few weeks, and okay. Thank uh, you and so hopefully much. we can uh, eradicate this this problem of too many animals and too many dogs spay and, and cats and spade and neuter is the main thing that we That's need to right. be focused on. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks. Thank all you right. Both. And I think we're just about out of time. I want to thank all the guests that have been here, and thank you again for coming. You bet You're you, always Dan. an asset to what we do here. Speechless. I am. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for, again for watching. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, you can contact us through our different uh, areas of uh, contact information. You can get a hold of us on our website at hometowntv.net. Call us here at the uh, station at 870-741-4891. Or go to our Facebook page, Hometown Television. And check us out there. Send us a message, and you can call her late at night, three or four in the morning. I'll give you her home home phone number here in just a few minutes. <laughs> Thanks a lot great. for watching. We'll see you again next time. Thanks, Dan.